guys, so today I'm going to be trying something new. It's going to be my first how-to video. Uh, my desk set up with light and stuff, so I'm thinking it's going to be a good video. So I'm going to put the camera on the tripod and show you guys what we're going to go over. Alright, so it's, I know it's hard to see, but this is what it looks like with actual line. It's um, tying a leader material onto your main line. I'm going to use this rope for example, because you can see it way better. Also just saying, if your main line is not braid, you will not need to worry about anything. This is just if you want to tie a fluorocarbon leader onto your main line. So yeah. Alright, so without further ado, let's get into this video. Alright, so what you guys will need for this is leader material and your braided line. So this is 10 pound Power Pro and I bought 12 pound Vanish. This isn't specifically for this, but I'm using this as an example. You can actually get both these from Walmart or just sticks and all that and yeah, so that's the two things that you'll need. But also, like I was saying, if your main line is already fluorocarbon, you won't need to worry about this. Alright, so I didn't have two different colored lines, but this line to the left with the black on it, I just took a sharpie and put some color to it. And so this one to the left will be your leader material. The This will be your fluorocarbon. and white line to your right will be the braid or your main line so pretty much what you're gonna do is you're gonna lay them both out going just like that first take your braided line make a simple loop just like that then you're going to wrap it around five to seven times make sure you're wrapping it around both lines as you do this. I like to do probably seven loops and then you're going to slowly cinch and with this fluorocarbon it heats up pretty easily when you try to cinch it quick so if you want to I would definitely recommend it just kind of spit on your line or just water or something so it doesn't heat up really fast. So now that you have that now you're gonna take your leader material and do the same. You're gonna wrap it. Undo seven loops. All right, so what you have here is you have two knots now. So pretty much you're done, but you want to take your leader material and your braided line and you're just going to pull them together slowly and if you want you can put spit on it and there you go so that is your knot now you're going to take these two tag ends clip them off all right and there's your finished knot so this is your leader material and this is your braided or your main line and they go against each other so when you pull this knot can't go past this knot and this knot can't go past this knot so it's pretty much two knots going against each other so this knot is great for finesse situations you can tie a drop shot a shaky head a wacky rig wacky rigging is probably my go-to rig if I'm going out to a pond it's really effective but yeah so that is what you're going to use and with line it's all preference probably 10 to 15 pound main line and probably for leader I would recommend either the lightest I would go 6 and then up to probably 12 maybe 14 if you're fishing kind of dirtier water stick around 10 it would be pretty good but yeah that's your finished knot all right so that's gonna end it for today's video this is like my first kind of tutorial video so let me know how i did now if you have any more questions about how to tie this knot then comment down below i will help you guys out on that so like i said earlier in this video this knot is good for finesse situations but yeah this is just how to tie from a main line to a leader and i use this knot a lot for my wacky rig and you see me using it in videos probably so yeah and definitely be sure to check out my next video, how to tie drop shot. Let me know if you want to see any more how-to videos. Just comment down below. But yeah, that will be it for today's video. Just comment down any more ideas that you want me to do for how-to videos, and I'll do it. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.